After a North Texas family escaped a raging house fire last week, tonight we are learning two of them are in critical condition. That does include a two-year-old child. New, uh, new at 10 o'clock, Marian Martinez is reporting for us from Parker County. She woke up and she said, I didn't, I didn't think anybody was going to care, but they do. Sarah Leonard is discovering just how much people care that she, her husband, and their six kids barely survived a fire. The family needed to be rescued after smoke inhalation left them unconscious or too weak to get themselves out. The Leonards have not been back to their Weatherford home since it burnt last week. Just today, Sarah was discharged from the hospital. Everyone else has been discharged as well, except for the father, Jeff and a two-year-old boy who are still in critical condition at Parkland in Dallas. He's intubated in a medically induced coma. He's got like burns on his face. Sarah's husband Jeff can be seen in sheriff body cam video coughing up. He's currently in ICU. The Leonard's neighbors have been collecting donations for them. They have more than enough of the basics like clothes. All of this stuff is so wonderful and it's such a blessing, but it doesn't really mean anything if there's nowhere to put it. I think the biggest concern is house, like where they're going to live. We hope that a manufactured home company or a home builder will come forward and will make a donation and, and give them a home. Their friends and neighbors have been writing the three hospitals where the Leonards received medical care, hoping that their out-of-pocket costs can be forgiven. The hope is that the Leonards can use the money being donated to them to help their daughter get past the trauma of almost dying. And she goes, I can't close my eyes and try to go to sleep because if I close my eyes, I might not open them again. So much healing left to happen, something money can't buy. Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.